Hey Libra, welcome Queen Air Benatero. Today we're going to do your general love read for the first week of July. Keep in mind, these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pups. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for our reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard the song, and I actually had to put it in the search on... um. YouTube because I had no clue who sang the song, but I heard the song I'll take you there and the name of the group is um, The staple singers, so I'll leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it if you so choose to I don't feel like it's so much Because I don't know the song verbatim word by word. So again, I you know, I always leave the song so you guys can Listen to the words because it may resonate with you differently than how I heard it when I channeled it because I heard the hook of the song Now I'm going to tell you what I'm getting with this is that You're because I'm hearing somebody being led like I'm hearing the phrase you can lead a horse to the water, right? That's that was all I heard was you can lead a horse to the water But you know how the saying goes you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make him drink I didn't even hear that last part. I just heard you can lead the horse. Okay. Mm-hmm because now I'm seeing a third the um Ace of Swords and my third eye chakra. So the message is you could some. You, I, I feel like you're gonna get some messages and some clarity about something, and what you do with it is up to you. And that's why I didn't hear the last part of it. You know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. I didn't hear that last part of it because it's like you're gonna hear some messages, and I, I'm picking up that you're gonna get it from <clears throat> the most. And I'm here suspicious. The most suspicious of associates. So you might want to fact check, is what I'm hearing. Um, and keep in mind, this is a love reading, so I feel like it matters at the heart. You're gonna hear some things, some type. Of, it's, I'm, I'm picking up heavy energy of gossip, because again, I've seen the Ace of Swords. You know, the Ace of Swords is about clarity, truth, um, powerful. The Aces are very powerful, and that's also gifts from the universe. So, with it being a gift from the universe, it could be intuitively some of you guys could be picking up messages. I feel like during your dream time, something that you're gonna dream about. It's going to make you start doing some research. <clears throat> and also, if it's not a dream, you're going to, again, it's going to be some type of associate that's going to come to you with some information. But you're going to need to do your own research to make sure what they're saying is accurate and not fabricated. Because I'm hearing the word fabricated. Something is being fabricated and it has to do with a love interest. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. So let's see. I'm going to hold the deck down just part of randomly. Change the card that's at the bottom of the deck so you guys can know this is unbiased. I'm not choosing what's at the bottom to go with a storyline, right? And both of the decks, the cards are completely upright. So at the... And this was not originally at the bottom of the deck. At the bottom of your deck, you have the Tower card. This is the card of Scorpio and also Aries. So some of you guys could be dealing with a um, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a tower. This is Major Arcana. Something is coming, tumbling down. If I'm going to tell you right now, if somebody told you something about your partner or somebody told your partner something about you, they're getting ready to get exposed. This The lid, the roof is getting ready to get snatched off of that BS. Look at that. It's a tornado. It's getting ready to snatch the lid. And you know how they say if, if somebody puts a lid on something, they're closing something, they're concealing something. I feel like somebody's concealing the truth about a situation, and that lid is about to get snatched clean off of it. Whoever is doing this lying, whoever is doing this deceitful act, because this is deceit. With the tower, that's chaos. Chaos and calamity. Somebody, I've, and I said that, and remember I was just saying, you're going to need to do some fact checking. If you separated from someone because of something that you were told, you might want to do your fact checks. And I feel like if you did separate from this person and you didn't do research, it's because it was from somebody that you trust. I'm going to tell you right now, if it's an Aries or a Scorpio, someone rising Venus person, you want to do the research because I feel like it's some shady. I feel like somebody has some type of motive. I, I felt like that earlier on in the reading, like there's somebody has some type of motive for what they told you is what I'm picking up. Okay. Again, there's no reversals in either one of these decks. Look at that. You have the um, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, 
Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual, you could have children with this person. You could be pregnant or you could have been talking about children with this person. Also, this could be the shady person because if you look at her face, she doesn't look too happy with this pinnacle. It's in, for some reason, I'm feeling like this pinnacle is like some type of lie that was told. And look at her face. And she's a queen, so why is she sad? And then look at this right behind her. You see how heavy these clouds are coming? Like these, this storm is getting ready to brew. And I feel like, like I said, the queen is a noble person. I feel like this individual, you trusted this individual. Look at this. Ace of Swords right behind it. Again, somebody's dealing with some fire sign energy. Because remember with the tower card, it was all that fiery red energy. And again, that's also the card of Aries. So some of you guys are dealing with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. Some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. Something could have, I'm also picking up, something could have happened during Taurus season this year. I feel like also there could have been a separation between you and love interest. Yeah. Somebody felt stabbed in the back. And I feel like if that's not the case, and this is source, this is your energy, I feel like you felt stabbed in the back by um, your love interest. And also, if that is not the case, I feel like some of you guys are going to find out some truths because source, that's clarity, that's communication, that's thoughts. I feel like if you didn't feel like this, you're going to, once you find out, mm, okay, look at these cards together, you know, I feel like once you find out that this person that you trusted with this information wasn't very truthful, you're going to feel stabbed in the back by this person, okay? That's part of the deck. No reversals, absolutely. You know, fire sign, a lot of you guys are dealing with a fire sign individual who was given some type of messages. Because you got to keep in mind, pages are always about communication. Some of you guys is definitely a fire sign who gave some type of communication or spread some type of rumors. This could have happened three months ago. One, two, three, mountains in the background. You know, mountains are always, they always denote hurdles. Something that you need to get over. And it definitely had to do with your family life. Look at that. The Emperor, Aries. Some of you guys are definitely the little fire sign, particularly Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And you see how he's sitting here with his boots of steel, sitting on his stone throne. Like this person could lie to you with a straight face. Look at his face. And has and won't even flinch. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with an individual, your past love interest, current love interest, or a friend. Somebody has somebody has some strong Aries placements in their chart because we keep getting all that Aries energy. This is very powerful. Look at that. Okay. So as we part the deck to shuffle, two of pentacles. Again, they could be an earth sign also. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This person is juggling. Look at her. It looks like she's having a delightfully good time, don't she? And she's looking in the direction of the tower card. If you were dealing with if if you have a Taurus friend. Who came back and gave you some information. They definitely could be enjoying this tower moment that you're going through. With this, look at how she's smiling and she's she's happy. I almost feel like this person is, you know, jealous of you. Because keep in mind, a tower is about a home, a foundation, environment. This could be a co-worker. Because this could be a building, a facility. But I feel like as far as, yeah. Because mm -hmm. what I'm also picking up is that this, this could have affected your finances, pinnacles. So this could be someone that you work with, that's a mutual friend of you and your partner, something to that nature. This, you know, hmm, you know, this person done, uh, this person has manifested some things. Again, more earth sign energy, Virgo with the magician, also Gemini. This person ha is a master manipulator, and I'm picking up master manipulator of words. And even though this is the card of Virgo, again, it's this fiery, you see how you see like this fiery energy around it? So this person could be an earth and fire sign combination is what I'm picking up. So let us get a clarifier. Yeah, mm-hmm. You guys are dealing with fire sign. Five of wands, look at that. Conflict, tug of war. And remember I was just saying a few minutes ago, this person could be jealous of you. And also, if it's a friend, maybe it's a possibility that this friend was jealous of you and this person's relationship, or they felt like this this partner took you away from them. Like, especially if you were friends with this person for a very long time, they weren't happy because they feel like since you've been with this person, the two of you no longer get to connect the way that you used to. And so they're like at a tug of war. Look at his face. Like he's determined as hell to win. 
And I feel like that's the case with this um, with this situation also. Be mindful about, man, yeah, a lot of fire energy. Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Again, Page of Wands, communication coming in or communication going out from a fire sign. And now at the bottom of the deck, you have this Page of Swords in reverse. You guys have a fire sign. Strong Aries energy popped up for us. A fire sign who is not on the up and up with their communication. Something shady was done. Some shady, shady, shady stuff. And it involved and affected your love life. I don't feel like this is you at all. Some of you guys can have fire sign placements in your chart. Look what fell out. But um, I don't feel like it's you. You have the four of pentacles in reverse. Four of pentacles upright is holding on for dear life. Look at that. Same stormy clouds in the background. Holding on to something for dear life. I feel like some of you guys were holding on to this person's every word. Came up in reverse. You guys are getting ready to find out some truths. Hmm. Libra, you guys are getting ready to find out some truths. Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of you guys are dealing with Virgo most definitely. Absolutely. Some truths. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys could have... um. Pisces placements in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Things could have also went down during Pisces season this year. March, April months. But I said truth, clear as day. I said that earlier, some truth. Some of you guys are going to have a dream that's going to be so foretelling. You see how she has that moon right on top of her? I always tell you guys, anytime I see cards with moons in it, that's things unknown, things unseen, things that we don't have clarity about. You're getting ready to get some clarity, some truth and clarity about situations. And nobody's going to be able to stop the messages that are coming through. I feel like, mm, so with the high priestess, remember I was saying, if you had a friend or associate who was giving you messages, I feel like your intuition is telling you to question it, right? Because you see how she had like a Bible or a book of knowledge and she was praying. It's almost like you guys are seeking the truth and some type of knowledge. Absolutely. Look at this. Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's image. Mm, look at this. Right up under them. Right up under it. You know, more wands, Seven of Swords. And then you have the Page of Swords. That's the page of communication. Pages are always communication. And then Swords is communication and the thoughts. I feel like you guys have a messy, 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 messy person in your midst. You got a, a Petty Betty. And a nasty Nate, somebody, somebody's being messy. Somebody's being messy. But you guys are getting ready to get some truth and clarity about it. I can feel that very strongly because keep in mind, I said this earlier before the high priestess even came out to, to for us. You're going to get some truth and clarity about this situation. Let's hold the deck down and get an additional message. Yep. Wheel of Fortune. Some troops are going to be trolled and you're going to get, you know, it's already written in the stars. I say this all the time. Every single one of these elements, earth, air, fire, water, these are the elements. They all have a book. Like something, this situation is already written in the stars. Something is already destined. It's, I feel like it's destined for you guys to get this truth and clarity. Also, I feel like, you know, if this person thought they were going to get away with some things, they absolutely will not because the universe has your back. I feel like this person was a little devil. They they wanted to navigate things. You see how this looks like a compass? They wanted to navigate things and make things go in a the direction they wanted it to go in. And this little devil figure, and they have the this little compass-like thing right on their back. Mm -mm. And you see how right around it is every sink, like these angels angelic beings are around it like yeah this person may think that they have everything on lock but you guys have protection around you making sure things don't you know continue to go in a negative way and that's a part of the deck to shuffle you have two major arcana so far facing us right the moon card again things unseen things unknown things you don't have clarity about i feel like you're gonna find out during cancer season this is the card of Pisces and Tarot, but the moon rules over cancer, and we are currently in cancer season. I feel like you're going to find out some truths during this cancer season. Just seeing the sun card and the lover's card. Yep, some clarity is going to come in. And then I just say during cancer season, and you got a queen of cups. And then the moon in reverse. The moon upright is things unseen, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about. It's coming up in reverse. You're getting ready to have some clarity about it. With the Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel like it's not going to make you happy. It's going to make you very upset. And keep in mind, at the bottom of the deck, we had that Ten of Swords. So you guys are going to be very upset with the information. Mm. 
with the information that you found out. Yeah, you guys are not going to be happy at all with the information that you found out. It's going to make you emotional. Four of Cups. I'm hearing threes a crowd. You see how he's looking at this three of cups. I don't feel like it's, it was a third party situation. I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like this person fed you some BS or some false truths about it. You see how this, this cup is coming out of the clouds like this offer. I feel like somebody's feeding you some information about some third party interference. And I feel like all details are not truthful. Judgment card in reverse, four of cups in reverse. Their judgment, your judgment was clouded. You see how this information with this offers come out as cloud. Your your judgment was clouded. Keep in mind, we did see the high priestess. Also, your intuition was not. You weren't using your intuition when this person spoke to you, and I feel like that's why I said earlier you trusted this person. This is somebody that you felt like you could trust. You need to do research, <laughs> cause truth is getting ready to come in. They're gonna blow that horn loud and clear. Judgment. And I feel like, you know, what I'm seeing with these these like corpse-like looking figures coming out of these graves, I feel like somebody was burying the truth and it's getting ready to be exposed. Like all those things that are hidden are coming clean to surface. Like you see how they're coming from the cast is coming to the surface. Things are coming to the surface. And I'm sorry about this glare, but you know, if you're new to the channel, all the people who follow the channel already know I can't have like false lighting directly on me if it's not natural lighting it gives me a headache so you have to excuse the um the shadows and a little bit of the glare but i can't have the mm -mm, can't have the light in directly on me you have look at that same card Woo, look at that as i set the cards down you have death card reverse so you have the knight of cups upright clarifying the four of pentacles and then you have the ten of swords and reverse clears down we had this early look at that king of cups somebody's getting ready to find the truth about a situation again i feel like it's going to be during cancer season during cancer season i feel like you're going to hear the truth there was an end into a situation with you and a love person or, you know a love interest i feel like it's coming up in reverse because this ending this death of this relationship is going to come to an end clear as day i know that also because you got the ten of swords in reverse no longer feeling stabbed in the back by the, the love interest but instead you're feeling stabbed in the back by this person that you trusted so for your main energy, you have the ten of, I'm sorry, the four of pentacles in reverse. And then clarifying it, you have the knight of cups. I feel like your love interest is going to come back in and they're going to communicate with you. They're going to try to bid their case. They're going to really try to get you to hear what it is they're saying. Because they're like, whatever you've been told is not true. And I feel like this person has been telling you this for a while now. As your clarifying card, you have the page of swords clarified by the ten of swords. You definitely could be dealing with someone who's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone rising Venus. But more than anything, like I said, I feel like during Gemini season, this stuff went down. Because keep in mind, it was only a week or two ago. And this person did not give you some truthful communication. They they really chopped and screwed the situation to appease them. Had you feeling stabbed in the back by your love interest. But now, in hindsight, I feel like you guys are getting ready to realize that you can't trust this person who told you something. You guys have a shady, shady person in your midst and they're not telling the truth. And I feel like they cause, yeah, I feel like they cause a situation with you and a love interest. If you keep in mind, you have four cards in your whole spread. The only card that's upright is the Knight of Cups. I feel like if you were dealing with someone, your love interest is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With this being the only card that's coming up right, if you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I feel like this person is being truthful. I don't feel like they did what they were being accused of. I don't. This is literally the only card out of your four card spread that is upright. But everything else connected with the information and communication that came in, mm -mm, it's all in reverse. All of it is in reverse. You need to do some fact checks. Because I don't feel like, yeah, because especially with this four of pentacles, and keep in mind it came up in reverse, I feel like you were holding on to this person's words because you felt like you could trust them. Especially if you are dealing, if this person has strong Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements or Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, I feel like this person is not telling you the truth. They weren't telling you the truth. They were, they were skewing things. So remember, we also seen that magician. They were making things fall in their favor and they wanted you to see things the way that they seen it. I feel like I, I feel a heavy energy because mm. there's something about his expression. I feel a heavy energy of jealousy. 
And even though this is air sign and you are air sign, Libra, right? I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is a person who played on the fact that you trusted them. You trusted this person and they, they fed you BS. And they ultimately stabbed you in your back. But you're getting ready to come out of that. You're getting ready to find out the truth about this situation is what I'm picking up. Okay? So, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.